Hey, Ayabami, do y'all have that picture? Hey, Kevin, Hello. how are how you? Are you? I'm Yvette mean, Whiteside. Nice to meet you. Have a seat. What'd you say, Ayabami? Okay. Bow, bow. Turn up, man. Turn oh. up. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's too early getting for you old. to turn up? It's getting old. You getting old. How old are getting you? Getting old. 34, oh. about to be 35. Oh. Getting I'm, old. I'm, I'm 33. 33? See, I'm older than you. Is that okay. perfume or is that a phone? Is that perfume? <laughs> it's both? What? It's a, oh, it's a, and it goes around your neck? Goddamn technology you like that? is the best right there. <laughs> ah, that's what that's what that is. That's Memphis. So what was, what was the name of that movie? It's a case. So it's basically a case. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh. Oh. You're ridiculous. Does that mean is that good or bad? <laughs> That's good and bad. Good, okay, good. You better get used to being up in the morning. There's no way that you wake up early in the morning. Ever. Dude, 4.40 a.m. No way that you wake up early in the morning. You wake up. I ain't gonna sleep. <laughs> what time you wake up? I ain't gonna sleep yet. Oh, from last night? No, what are you, you left the, the screening to it's go just home. a screening, it's still stuff. I have what, a lot of remotes in other cities. <gasps> Other cities? Jump on a plane, shh, come back, shh. Do the press here, as soon as I'm done here, I go to LA. It really pays to, <laughs> yeah, to be where you're at. The body takes a toll. A toll. Right. I know. So you gotta take care of it. I, I love sweet, though. We'll keep getting it. <laughs> Don't stop getting it. Or else I'm gonna get old. My knees hurt. You hear me cracking my knees? Tell me when. Uh, two, one, on you. Thank you, Kevin. You're welcome. <laughs> Comedian, acting, Kevin Hart. Start all over, I'm sorry. No, oh, she blew it. <laughs> she blew it. That was her moment. You blew you it. You were messing now. me up. Blew it. One more time. Ready? Now. Thank you, Kevin. Jeez. Comedian and actor Kevin Hart is in Memphis to promote the upcoming release of Think Like a Man 2. I was at the Memphis screening Monday night at the Malco Paradiso with Kevin on the red carpet and he joins me now to talk more about the film. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Why y'all got me in these high chairs? Your feet are swinging. Yes. You know? <laughs> yeah. This is stupid. Who put me in these chairs? <laughs> Not me. Y'all knew I was coming here. Right, exactly. I can have somewhere I was on the ground. This is ridiculous <laughs> right now. Am I going to be able? I mean, look at your feet. They're I just, right yes, right here. I, I can't be comfortable like this. How I, tall are you? I'm like five four and a half. No, I'm five four and a half, and I'm taller than you. Y'all don't heels. <laughs> Y'all don't heels. Okay, so Think Like a Man was a success. Yes. Tell everyone why they should come out and see Think Like a Man too. Well, you just said it. Think Like a Man 1 was a success, so Think Like a Man 2 has to be bigger and better than that. In this case, it is. Um, you know, we went we went huge on this one. We shot it in yeah. Vegas. Uh, we wanted to add that hangover feel to a relationship movie to where we could bulk up the comedy a little more, but still at the same time keep the overall message of love involved. Um, it's a movie that appeals to everybody. It's universal. Uh, all races, all shapes, all sizes, men, women, everybody can come out and see it and enjoy it. It's funny, man. It is. It's good. Funny. It's really good. You know, in the movie, you played Cedric Ward. Yes. Can you just tell us a little bit about your role? Cedric Ward is a sex symbol in this movie. Oh, That's why that my shirt is off. Right. No. Uh, Cedric, man, Cedric is a, is a chaotic man. You yeah. know? He's a man who's pretty much self centered and self evolved. Everything has to be about him or for him. In this movie, uh, what he's doing is throwing a bachelor party for Michael that in return kind of becomes his event and, and he loses sight of what's really important. So it's something where Sunday actually has to point the finger back at himself to see what his faults are. As the other characters in the film, they see what their ups and downs are. They come to hold and realize that communication is best. And they talk. What a well put together sentence, Kevin. Did anybody... <laughs> 
My wow. goodness, really, How did Kevin? I just, really? Did you see that? I just uh, wrapped it up. It just up come like off that. the top of your head woo, with woo, these woo. things. I was just doing it. Woo, really? Woo, woo, and it really? wouldn't okay. stop. This chair is stupid. <laughs> okay, so last night I was at the screening. Yes. I saw you walking on the red carpet. Yes. And I said, Kevin, Kevin, stop right there. Let me get a picture. And this is the picture that this see. is the pose that you gave me. That right is an amazing picture. Look at that. I mean, true Kevin Hart fashion that right there. You're, you're says sticking everything. your tongue out at me. It says I mean, everything. I was thinking. And I, I'm trying to get a picture of him smiling. That's my blue steel. Or, oh, is that what That's that is? That's my blue steel. He sticks his tire, tongue right out, so I'm like, okay, turn up, right man, there. turn I up. I stuck my tongue out, and I gave you blue steel. Yeah. Right there. You know okay. what that picture would go for on eBay right now? How much? If you put blue steel? $2? 25 cents. I was going to say 25 all, cents. Okay. You, gave me, you gave me the benefit of the doubt. I was going to go a quarter. So when does this movie come out? June 20th. June 20th. In theaters everywhere, people make it your business to go see it. Think like a man too. Yeah. So much better than think like a man one. I'm on record saying that this is being recorded. You can play it back. I said it. I mean it. <laughs> think like a man two. Better than think like a man one. Go see it. Go support it. June twentieth. That's right before my birthday, actually. Is so it? When's your birthday? You, June twenty second. You should be buying me a gift just That's for going right out right to support your, your movie. Birthday. Yeah. Right so, before your birthday would have been okay. the twenty first. It's a couple oh. days. Oh, okay. After. You're okay. you're a liar. You're, uh, you're a liar. I'm not a liar. It She's a liar. Right before. It's like technically right no, before. But you know what I mean? Isn't a fact. I'm just giving you facts. That's okay. All. okay. So you got a birthday coming up too? July sixth is my birthday. July the sixth. July the sixth. I'm a cancer. Cancer, the best sign Me of all. Too. You're not probably a I cancer. I am a cancer. Well, it's kind of hard to trust you after you lied the first time. So I don't know what you are. Kevin, know what you okay, are. so people who go out to see this movie, what is the main message that you want them to walk away with? Walk away with understanding that the most important thing in a relationship is communication. Yes, uh, I agree. I think with communication, you can conquer all. You know, you just have to talk and you have to be open. And you also have to realize your faults. In this movie, yeah. like I said, these characters realize what their flaws are on both sides, men and women, and they come to a point where they they're open enough to discuss them. And uh, even my character has a full turn, as I did in the first one. It's just at a different level in this one. You have some bad luck, your character. I do. And, and that's with all the way up to the end. Yeah. I, I didn't think yeah. you were going to ever no, make no, no. a turn. I'm you know? definitely in a pool of bad luck. It's yeah. a cesspool of nothing positive for a minute. <laughs> but uh, it all turns around at the end. You know, my favorite part of the movie when I saw it, um, it was when the girls got together and mm -hmm. they did the BBD oh, oh, poison, the, uh, video. The poison video. Yeah. And then I also like the part where you guys, the bachelor party and then the bachelorette party, y'all accidentally bump yeah. into each other yeah. uh, in Vegas. What was your favorite part? Um, well, I don't want to say anything else because you just told the whole movie. I did movie. not. Goodness I did not tell gracious. the whole movie. I just told a little bit. She a just told spirit. everything that happened. <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe, Kevin, you can still go see Jesus. the movie. I did not. Why did you just tell the ending right you had it? Oh my God. He is too much. Holy I, did, I promise diddles. you I did not tell I'm everything. <laughs> I'm just joking. No, you didn't. I'm joking. Uh, no, man, I, I, I can't name just one. There's so many parts, so many good things to actually go for and, and count. I would say my favorite part was showing up on day one and getting to work with the same group of people over again. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and making a special movie. I think this movie uh, captures the essence of great chemistry. Yeah, you know, it does. Um, we, we, we really get along on and off camera, and I think it shows in this film. So I can't pick just one part. It's too many. Okay, and and recently here on Local Memphis Live, we actually had actor Michael Ely on the show, Did you? talking about about last night the mm -hmm. film, and he was talking about how it was horrible to work with you. Actually, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he was saying how much of an honor it was to be working That's my with guy. you. That's yeah, my guy, man. How, how was it working with him and the rest of the cast? Mike is a talented guy. He's a close friend of mine now, man. I mean, Mike is a is a polished. Thesbian. You know, mm -hmm. he's somebody that understands the business. I've learned a lot from working with Mike. Um, more importantly, you know, we feed off of each other, as yeah. do the other men and as do the other females. And I think when you're working with people that constantly are on their A game, you can only raise your game. And this right. is a constant case of everybody's game being elevated because of those around them. Yo, I am well spoken. Does anybody else see this, man? Kevin. I didn't even take a class. Are you serious? I didn't serious? take a class for this. Really? I can't I even get to this interview. This. This chair is yeah, stupid. We know you didn't take a class. Who put me in this chair? <laughs> it's like a high chair Where's for you, producer? I must admit. What producer My producer would do is this? right over there, actually. This is a stupid <laughs> chair, Ashley. No, I said actually. Oh, Her I'll name is so. Ayobami. <laughs> I'm gonna call you Ayo. <laughs> Ayo. Okay. 
so you're talking about working with people. You actually worked with uh, Memphis's own Lil Peanut. Lil Peanut, I yeah. did work with Lil Peanut. Lil Peanut's cool. Y'all should be proud of Lil Peanut. Lil we Peanut are. Lil Peanut did an amazing job in Ride Along, man. And he's doing an amazing job in LA. I mean, yeah. he's working. I think he's on Nickelodeon right now, doing something on that network. Yeah. More importantly, he's a good kid. He he's is. a really good kid. You guys are the same height. Well, I'm a little taller than Peanut. I'm a little oh, taller a little, than Peanut. Oh, a little bit taller. Okay. A little bit. I got Lil Peanut gotcha. by a little bit. And to be honest with you, I punched Lil Peanut in the face. Uh -oh. Or whatever it came down Kevin, to. Kevin, how no dare problem you? Hitting the child. I hit a child. He has no problem hitting the child. Are you listening to this? No problem hitting the child. Hitting this? The child. I said it. crazy. He's said crazy. right here. Live okay. in Memphis. <laughs> On local Memphis Put Live. Put me in a high chair. I'll show you. <laughs> okay, so when you think of Memphis, most people think of Bill Street. Mm -hmm. They think of blues. Mm -hmm. They think of barbecue. We got Elvis mm -hmm. and the National Civil Rights Museum. You really don't think of Memphis as a Hollywood city. Mm -hmm. So I was telling my girlfriends last night when I saw the screening, I'm actually shocked that you chose Memphis to do the screening, you know, and why? Well, it's not a Hollywood city. Why would you do that? Why would you choose Memphis? Well, it's because you're trying to break the barrier. You know, yeah. I think when it comes to promotion, what I'm trying to do is be groundbreaking. You know, uh, when when you think of Memphis, like you said, you don't you don't naturally see it as a city to do Hollywood events. Mm -hmm. Why not? You know, what happens if you bring them there? What happens if celebrity start to bring projects there and premiere them there? Any city can be a city to get Hollywood events if given the opportunity so yeah. it's just about giving these cities the opportunity and more importantly my fans my fans in Memphis are amazing I've been coming to the city for quite some time and the mm -hmm. turnout that I get is always astronomical so I feel like you deserve it you know and it's yeah. not just you it's other cities I'm doing this for about another seven or eight cities while on my promo tour and this will be an ongoing thing throughout my career but it's just trying to have other people follow suit because I think what I'm doing can actually catch on and be something special right and once again well spoken Wow! And you know what? You're at the height Whoa. of your career. And Somebody uh, put me out because I'm on fire. <laughs> really? Like seriously? Okay, so I follow you on Facebook. Uh -huh. And um, I saw recently where you posted something and you were talking about how you did 10 years ago the movie Soul Plan. Yes. It, was, it didn't do so well, nope. but it wasn't a setback for you clearly of where you are mm -hmm. today. Um, Talk about how um, you uh, are such an inspiration to other comedians or what piece of advice can you give to others who are out there trying to hustle and make it like you and even outside of comedians for people who just have a dream and they're trying to go out there and, and, and succeed. Uh, well, I mean, I think a person in my position, it's not about, you know, uh, being an inspiration. I try to be a driving force. Okay. Uh, you know, and where I am in with social media being where it is today, I have a direct connection to people who follow me and support me. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know all of these people individually. Um, I don't know what they're doing, but I have the opportunity to basically push them to achieve whatever goals they've set out to do yeah. by showing them what I've done and what I've stayed true to. Um, being uplifting is definitely positive. You don't know who is reaching and, and what dynamic it's reaching them in, but the more you do it, the more it catches on. And it's, uh, it's, it's almost like a positive disease that you spread. Right. And it's a disease of achieving, you know? So yeah. my thing is, I'm up. I'm up at 6 a.m., what are you doing? Uh, if you're not up, why aren't you up? Get you're up, up do what I do. Well, that's on a uh, hypothetical day. Okay, it I was about be, to say, you it just be told no me sleep. that you get up early than me, and I told you 4.40 a.m. We're not talking about today. Okay. You're not, you're not going to beat me in this conversation, <laughs> oh, so why don't you just, why don't you just quit it? Okay, okay? well. Uh, but basically, what you do is when other people see what you're doing, and if they are sitting on the couch, if they're yeah. not putting their best effort into what they should be, it makes you get up. And it's, 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 it's something that I like to do. I like to push. I mean... Yeah. From my surroundings, from my team, we motivate one another to do nothing but great things. And I think that's why we're in a position that we are in today. But I want to see everybody be yeah. in that position. I'm not selfish. And the best way to do it is to spread information. That information is be determined, be destined, and achieve your goals. Again, well put. God, somebody get a fire extinguisher and put me out. What, your I'm publicist wrote fire. these answers for you? I'm or is this fire. just on the top of your head? It just comes off. Pew, 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 okay, pew, so pew. what's next for Kevin Hart? This? Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Jeez, really? Really, Kevin? Uh, what's next, man? Tons of stuff. Um, right now, of course, Think Like a Man 2 is coming out uh, June 20th. Make sure you go see it. Um, 
Where do you have ride a store along after two. that? We start from a ride along two in July. And you're actually uh, in the gym preparing for that. Just yeah. like you was preparing for Think Like a Man yeah, too. I but saw this, that. I'm, a little, I'm in better shape for this one. I'm doing more. Okay. Um, I just finished doing a movie with Will Ferrell called Get Hard. That'll be out next year. In January, another movie coming out called Wedding Ringer. Me and Jamie Foxx about to do a movie called Black Phantom. Wow, um, you got a lot going on. Season three for Real Hosts of Hollywood starts October. I'm about to start filming season four. Then I got to get ready to go back on tour. <sighs> when do you 2016. sleep, dude? Why yeah. sleep? Here's my thing. Who works hard to get successful and then takes off? Who does that? Well, that's true. When but, you make but, it, but you want to keep making it. when can you get your rest? It. I rest when I'm dead. Oh. <laughs> I got that's stuff a, to do, man. That's a good time to rest. I got stuff to do. I, I'm guessing that you sleep on the plane. How much longer we got this? Because I got stuff to do. <sighs> really, Kevin? <laughs> you don't have anything do. else to do. Don't they? He's Doing actually, stuff. You're what? You're going to the AR barbecue. I probably that's got what other you stuff. Got to do. I probably got other no, stuff. No, no, AR barbecue. What do I have to do? <laughs> My people and, know and, what I got and, to and, do. I tell you what I got to do. Jump out this stupid chair. Would That's you, what I got to do. Would you like for me to help you down? This I know it's kind of high for you. I'm gonna break it when I leave. <laughs> I'm gonna knock this chair over. And I'm gonna break it. Again, tell people when they can go out and catch your movie in theater. June 20th. Go see Think Like a Man 2. Trust me, it is worth <laughs> seeing. It is worth the box office ticket. It does not disappoint, and it appeals to everybody. Universal movie, and that's what the one thing that we all share as people is laughter. You would definitely do that with this film, and it's an overall message at the end. Men, women, all races, go see it, go enjoy it. I'm Kevin Hart, and that was my PSA to you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank ha! you. Nailed it. Oh my goodness. You know what? I, Stay I with us. We'll be right back. I know we not. Not after this, you not. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs>